Welcome back everyone. It's an absolute winter wonderland out here today. I'm just collecting a few items to make a um, Christmas wreath. So join me for that and we'll head back inside, have some hot chocolate and uh, make a lovely woodland winter craft. Stay tuned. So I've been forging over the seasons uh, for just some things for this wreath. I've already picked up some awesome pine cones. So now I just need some other things. I've got some beautiful cedar here. I think this would be helpful for our wreath. So I've got to do a little trail clearing here. So let's get some of this. Everything's all iced up. We had a nice storm here and then a lot of snow. So I'm going to let this thaw out when I get home. I'm looking all over right now for some uh, red osier dogwood. We're going to use that as the main wreath, like the frame for the wreath. I think I see some over here. Let's go check it out. Ah, perfect. There's some nice bits of branches there. Ooh, that'll be great. Some of these are kind of branched off, so I don't really need that. This one actually, this shoot looks fine. They have a lovely kind of red stem to them. Different dogwoods are different species. They can have various different colors like red and yellow and things like that. So um, they're just sort of mutations of what you would see in the wild, but they sell them commercially. So for attractive, you know, winter foliage uh, in your native shrub and flower garden, uh, dogwoods are great because you can get various different varieties to add color, a little splash of color in the winter time. Found the perfect one for the backbone of our frame. So now's a great time of year to be cutting these branches. The trees are dormant. Um, you're not gonna really introduce infections and stuff into the tree at this time of the year because everything's kind of uh, sleeping for the winter time. So when I like doing some basket making and other winter crafts, I'll usually kind of wait till the trees and shrubs are in dormancy uh, for collection purposes. And of course, only take what you need for your project. Don't overdo it. Don't wanna stress the plants for springtime. Check out behind me. It is so beautiful, so quiet. Uh, things are starting to freeze over. So you can see a little bit there, but there's a bit of a current on this little river here so we won't expect to be completely frozen over yet no time to go over it in the snowmobile but you just hear the kind of trees cracking and swaying in the breeze because of all the ice that's been on them and stuff so i just love this time of year it's so awesome being out here connecting with nature all right i think i've got what i need from out here uh, at home i have some um, little crab apples and cranberries uh, i've got my pine cones i've got my dogwood and some cedar so i think we're good to go ahead and make the wreath. So let's head back home and uh, get warmed up. My fingers are frozen. <laughs> Crawling all under this stuff here, trying not to get snow down the back of my neck. Ooh, oh. It's always the first rude awakening to winter. Usually I put my hood up. Ah. Around here I ran into somebody looking to go out ice fishing and uh, yeah, as you guys could see from the earlier clips, water not safe. Um, you know, partly froze over like a centimeter or two, so uh, not good luck. Well, it's El Nino winter. We'll see when the first time we can get out on the ice is. Uh, not right now, that is. hot chocolate with my favorite coconut whip on top well I've got everything kind of uh, defrosted here in the house and I just finished soaking some of the uh, branches from the shrubs downstairs so I'll bring them up and we'll start the wreath do a quick peek at the cabin Christmas tree you guys saw in a previous video there it is all decorated it's got little lights on it I had originally bought some lights from Amazon these little tiny cool copper white lights solar powered but you know, it's been so gray over the last few weeks, it hasn't really charged up nicely. So I ended up putting on my, my plug-in lights, which is fine. It's a really special ornament here I wanted to show you. So here it is sitting at the top of my tree. And this is a 100-year-old uh, ornament, over 100 years old. This is, uh, my grandmother passed away in the fall. And uh, this was an ornament that was on their family tree for a very long time. Um, so this ornament is an over 100 years old. So I just want to show it to you, it's paper seen a lot of love over the years it's kind of taped back together again but it was uh, given to me to carry on which is lovely and there's a little picture of me and her and that tree actually has the uh, the angel sitting right at the top as well and there's a picture of her mom with her and that tree having the an angel on top so there's little me there's my grandma <laughs> put everything laid out here on the uh, the table here's some red pine cones that I was talking to you about before these are a really nice size for wreaths and they're not too gummy or anything like that um, so I've got those, I've got some, some dogwood for some other, I might make some ornaments after, I'm not sure. A couple of uh, glass bulbs that I've had for a long time, glass ornaments. 
Now just a few other things I might need, some ribbon. I definitely have some wire here. So this is uh, just brass wire and this one's just a regular, uh, just sort of a green coated uh, 18 gauge wire. There is some of the cedar. And I have some frozen crab apples outside I'll bring in and we can put on the wreath too. All right, so first we're gonna take our, uh, our branches right here. I think there's a beautiful color. So what I'm gonna do now is just make them into a round and use some wire to secure them. And we'll pick the size that we want. So I'm just gonna line up all the edges here at one end and then we'll cut them the length that we want them. So I think I'm gonna use these two to start and I think that's a really good size. I'm just gonna wrap around some of this 18 gauge wire and we'll hide this later. tie this end together. I'm just going to tie this end together here and then we'll figure out the rest in a minute. So what I've held back is this little tiny piece of dogwood here and I'm going to just sort of wrap it around to secure uh, the rest of the wreath. So we're just going to kind of weave it around just like that. So that way you don't have to wire the other part of the wreath. So it just goes around kind of like that and then we'll wire it into the rest. So I think that looks pretty good. As you can see, this part we're gonna hide with the wires. We're gonna put a lot of our decorations down here and this part we'll leave exposed. And this is my favorite part. Now we begin the decorating. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna use some of this uh, cedar. We're gonna put this all around sort of the bottom and then we can start adding on some of the embellishments like uh, you know, the crab apples, uh, the pine cones and uh, the little ornaments. I think for the cedar, I'm gonna actually just use a little bit of this, um, this brass wire here. That way it's a bit more decorative if it ends up being visible. So I'm gonna start by kind of covering up where I went over with the heavier wire. It's gonna be careful to twist it at the back. I think that looks really good right there. So now we're just gonna add on some other fun things and finish this up. I'm trying to figure out where to put my pine cones where I should kind of put them. These are red pine, by the way. So beautiful, not so not sticky or anything like that. Really easy to work with. Um, I think I might kind of put them here because there's a little bit of a bare spot there. So I think I'm gonna put them right there. And these guys can just be easily, you know, wired on to the wreath, so I can wiggle the wire through the little parts of the pine cone here. There, and we can easily kind of just do a quick little twist. I had to break it in the process. <laughs> and then we can just wire it on. Oh, that actually works like that. If I did like that, I think that would look really cool. It's always a process to see what you like. Don't go into this with any particular idea of what I'm gonna do and then it just works out the way it works out. Okay, this wreath smells amazing. It smells so nice like the wilderness. There we go. Now we can kind of tuck in, these are some crab apples, but you can use other berries. It's, this wreath's gonna go outside, so it doesn't really matter. They're not gonna rot out on the inside. Um, you can always use artificial if you're worried, but this is gonna go back outside and be in nature by the front door. So I don't really care if these, uh, these won't, they'll just freeze again. I think that looks great. I 
with these little ornaments. I'm wondering if I should just wire them on just to the bottom of the wreath. They kind of dangle a little bit. That might be kind of cool. So I just kind of hang them off of the wreath. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. You know, I actually don't like these ornaments at all for this project, so we're gonna put them aside. Kind of looks good natural. So I might just do a little bit of a bow and we'll finish up. Well, I changed my mind again. I started off with the uh, the ribbon there that I was gonna use and I did not like how it contrasted with how natural this wreath looks. So I decided to go and find, I had some dandelions that I had dried from the uh, summertime and I just rehydrated the dandelion stalks. This is the flower stalk of the dandelion. And I made a really cool little bow. So I think that looks great. Let's see how it looks. So it's a little bit small for this location, but I just wanna show you how cool it looks, how rustic it looks. So here's how it looks against sort of like a brick wall. So you might want something to make it stand out a little bit more, but I think it looks great. Let's see what it looks like on my door. Ooh, I think that looks great. I think that looks awesome. So cool, very modern. Uh, I think a lot of the modern wreaths now don't fill it all the way across the top. Oh, my porch light just went on, it's just getting dark enough. So yeah, this is awesome, I love it. As the sun goes down, I wanted to show you how the tree looks. I guess I fibbed. The solar lights are working. Must have been a little bit brighter with the snow today to charge up the little battery that it comes with. It'll probably only be on for about half hour or so, but uh, it adds a little extra pizzazz to my tree. Thanks so much for joining me today to make a wonderful woodland wreath. I hope you had fun. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.